Hey, this is Rick with another great tip for today. Because you want to know the insider secrets to get your vending business up and running and become instantly profitable. It's true, you can get a lot of great deals when it comes to used machines on eBay and through other local sources. But I'm here to tell you, you can also get a lot of junk. Great deals will come and go in this business all the time because the turnover rate is so high. So to eliminate the confusion that is sure to come with buying used machines, there's a few things that you need to know. Number one, if you're buying used machines, only buy the same type and brand of machine that you're currently using on the rest of your route. If you don't, you're setting yourself up for a big, major headache when it comes to the serving size of machines, when it comes to servicing your route, when it comes to tools that you will need, the list goes on and on and on. But why be educated in all these different machines only by the same type and brand of machine that you're currently using? Number one and major number one. Number two, if you're buying a lot of machines, 10 to 50 machines at a time, be sure you see every single machine and not just the cup and top that they want you to see in the picture on the internet. That's a big mistake that I made that I'll tell you more about in a minute. Number three, your great deal had better be a great deal, and a great deal means 25 cents on the dollar. If a new machine costs $200, don't be paying any more than $50 per machine for your used machines. Number four, take into consideration that you'll probably have to buy locks to get them all keyed the same as the rest of your route. And number five, most likely one in 10 is actually going to be end up using being used for parts. In my experience, buying used machines is definitely not worth it. I found a great deal on some used Northwestern triple plays when I was first getting going. I was going to say $50 per machine, but the junk I received was indescribable. They were stunk. They all needed to be steam cleaned. Some of them were just in parts. I had to buy a massive amount of parts from Northwestern to get these things up and running. Um, they were 25 years old. They looked like they were 45. The list goes on and on. Uh, There's only one thing they had going for them. They were all keyed the same. And guess what? I got one lousy key. One key. I worked myself to death trying to get these machines up and running and looking great. But as the old saying goes, how do you wash a turd? You know, it's almost impossible, all right? This is another big mistake I made in my vending career, and I wouldn't, <laughs> I'm warning you so you don't have to repeat the same mistake that I made. After the shipping costs, parts, everything else, I only saved $25 per machine over the cost of brand new machines. Ever since then, I've only bought new machines. I would only recommend that you buy new machines also. This is Rick signing off for today. Go out and make it a great day.